Self-driving cars, robots, I know they exist, but it still kind of sounds like the stuff of the future, right? Yeah, so what if we told you Nashville's installing the technology to power those things right now? News 4's Rebecca Cardenas is live in Bellevue. So Rebecca, these devices have already arrived in some neighborhoods in our area. Yeah, this is one right here, Tracy and Lauren. This is a 5G pole that was just recently installed here in Bellevue. Not all of the devices will look like this. Some of them are smaller and will be attached to existing infrastructure around the city, but they're really placed in very strategic locations to eventually, in the near future, we're thinking, be able to power self-driving cars that will come down this road. You know, we're talking about a, a robot that we may have to send into a hazardous situation, whether it's a a fire, a hazmat, or a active shooter. It's the stuff of movies about the faraway future, inching closer and faster than you think. It's not just streaming the latest uh, Netflix. It's having that ability to have uh, the information as needed uh, in real time. On the scene. He's talking about 5G, bandwidth that will connect us faster than ever before. It's like having a fiber optic cable connected to your device. A connection crucial to our first responders. Real-time information we'll be able to access from firefighters going into a fire, a defibrillator measuring your heart rate, video from dash cameras inside police cars, and traffic lights. It will be what autonomous vehicles, autonomous robots, this will really drive the future. It's pretty cool stuff. So how soon are we talking here? That of course depends on money and budgets and decision making on the local level. A spokesperson from AT&T did tell me though that 5G will go live in Nashville by the end of this year. Tracy, Lauren. All right, Rebecca Cardin is reporting live. Thank you.